And what's cracking, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is today's update on Cardano. I don't think I've been this excited in a very, very long time, guys. I think we've all earned ourselves a mega bull run, hey? What do you think? Um, no, all the coins are looking extremely juicy. And this is to say, guys, I hope you guys are here. You're paying attention, you're focused, and you're not getting complacent here, okay? Now is the time to be focusing on the charts. This is where the opportunity is found. This is the market juncture that's gonna get you those life-changing gains. All right, we've seen people go from rags to riches out of their nine to fives. And all it takes, guys, is one amazing, amazing trade to hit. All right, and that's why it's time to be focusing on the charts. Now, Cardano USDT, guys, we're already up a good 20% on this trade. The last time we spoke about Cardano, I had highlighted a bid opportunity for you guys, which is this red zone right here. Right. I had highlighted this opportunity. I'm like, no, they got to get the juice. I gave you guys a daily video. I'll be linking this in the end cards once again. And then Sean and I left for the beach. And while we were on the beach, we were watching all our positions pump in our face. There is no better, better way to enjoy your gains than by sitting on the beach, sipping on cocktails. But you can only do that, guys, if you're willing to look ahead. Right. You can only do that if you're willing to, well, um, focus and not be complacent. All right. Get those trades in when before they even pump okay before the coin even pumps before the asset even pumps so now i had presented this red box territory for you guys we're still up a good 20 percent now everything technically from the last analysis it's pretty much it's the same picture okay now this is just a quick update the weekly guys are still looking at the three battle zones right we're looking at a dollar 16 and these were battle zones that were created by the bulls and the bears they fought at these zones back during that bear market okay there was a lot of contention there so the first stem um, battle came in here at around a dollar and 16 cents and the second battle came in right here on this red box territory okay it was a zone from around 68 cents down to around 59 cents in the last update i told you guys that hey the bears have been uh, well they've been winning honestly in every attempt at the zone every war that was fought here ever since the breakdown the bears won here the bears won here they won here for six weeks in a row six weeks in a row but in the last update i told you guys that the bulls might have the edge here and why is that because i want you guys to start breaking down your candles all of this price action guys it's human beings on the chart you got to start breaking them down into buyers and sellers that buying and selling psychology right i'm looking at this entire thing as okay there is a battlefield here what do the sellers like to do the sellers like to sell the buyers like to buy the sellers their supply right they're all supply at the zone now i'm looking at every tap as that supply getting dwindled out that supply is reducing and reducing and reducing so that's six weeks of reduction right here they had another two weeks right here another four weeks right here right now i'm looking at this as okay the bulls have come back once again not just come back they've come back in a, in a in a good way because yeah this was a low right here but then they put in this very very significant higher low look at the difference okay a significant higher low and they've pushed price up once again back to that battlefield and i'm looking at the supply there a supply that's being tapped far too many times i don't think there's much left there and there's not there's not much juice left by the sellers and that's why i told you guys that there is a better chance the bulls actually reclaim this to the upside right what we were what we were looking for in that previous analysis was for a consecutive weekly closes over that 59 cent region and I told you guys that, hey, this might be a good bid opportunity. Price returning back to 59 cents, giving us that retest and then a bounce off of that, at which point our next target only comes in at around 68 cents, right? And the party for Cardano, honestly, guys, only begins. It only begins once we start breaking 68 cents because not only are we going to be breaking a critical reach of resistance to the upside, but we'd also be triggering this massive cup and handle like formation that has a target range guys of greater than a dollar and 16 cents so yeah this right here is target one but then there's target two which only comes in at two um two dollars and 15 cents which is the measured move of that cup and handle like formation now for those of you wondering okay crusher but when does this all break tell us that you know fine all of these charts are looking good but is this the time? Can can Cardano break? Who is to say that it's not going to get rejected here and move sideways here once again? Well, for that, I'm always going to tell you guys one thing. Default onto your objective tools, your objective indicators, right? In fact, it's that. It's our objective tools, our objective indicators that even told us to wait on the pullback for Cardano. Now, the last time we spoke about Cardano, guys, we were right here. 
right? And I told you that, hey, while I did take a trade on this, I'm up on this trade, I'm not gonna be adding to my position right here. I don't. I think this is gonna be a bad ad, all right? And what was giving me the tip off in that we're likely gonna see a, uh, well, a pullback on Cardano, perhaps down to this 59 cent region, which was weekly support. What gave us that tip? It was our next objective indicator here at the Mango Grove, which is the Mango Dashboard. This is gonna help you understand when is it time to be looking for those pullbacks. Because oftentimes, guys, now that we're in a bull market, you're gonna see a lot of crazy freaking rallies. And you're gonna be frothing at the mouth to get into these positions, especially if you were looking at the chart and you failed to get in to begin with. Right? And you're going to let those, those emotions and those impulses get the better of you and you're just going to jump in, into a rally, only for that rally to then pull back significantly. But what if you were able to gauge when a rally is about to pull back? What if you have that ability? Well, you do. Okay, you do with the Mango Dashboard. I'm going to give you this quick playback of the previous analysis that we did, wherein um, what, well, what, what really helped us in anticipating a pullback on Cardano. Just sit back and watch this. But now, while I'm saying that, hey, the bulls have the edge here, I would not take the trade here. Yeah, because as a trader, I mean, I can't really manage the trade well off of this region, right? I want to see if I can get a bid maybe at around 59 cents on a retest of 59 cents. Yeah, I would take the bid then. Now, is there anything alluding to price actually coming back down to 0 0.5962? Yes, get on over to the dashboard, app.mangoresearch.co. Make the dashboard your best friend this bull run because it's going to keep you on the right side of almost every trend, not just Cardano. In fact, like I said, if you fail to catch the daily updates, the dashboard will likely get you in on the trade. While I did do that last Cardano analysis eight days ago, check out the dashboard. 8.5 days ago on the daily time frame, the dashboard gave you the long signal to tell you to jump into the trade right there, right? It flipped from neutral to long 8.5 days ago. If you caught a trade based on that, you're up by a good 14.83% already on that trade, right? But now what is telling us to wait on the pullback? Well, check out the volatility. Volatility flashing these high red numbers. Every time I see high red numbers, I know that, hey, it's time for me to get patient on the bid if I am looking to build on my position or if I'm looking to enter a new position. Okay, what I'm going to be looking for as optimal volatility is for the volatility to flash either blue or yellow. Okay, tell me that, hey, this has hit a level of equilibrium. I want to see the volatility give me these healthy numbers with the trend remaining relatively bullish. Tell me that, hey, the bulls are in control for the most part and they could step in any time and pick price up once again. All right, so it was the volatility profile on the dashboard that told us that, hey, while well, the bulls are completely in control, check out that volatility. It's super frothy. Tell me that, hey, if we're getting a pullback, it's likely coming in soon. It's a volatility profile that helped us stay our hand in case we got a little too gung-ho on the longs. Now let's go ahead and check out what the volatility profile is telling us this time around. Also, you guys can find the dashboard on app.mangoresearch.co. We've essentially, what we've done with the dashboard, guys, is that we've taken our entire trading system, alrighty, we've taken years and years and years of building the system and we've turned it into an algorithm. That way I don't have to go into every chart one at a time, one at a time, one at a time to figure out if there's a trade opportunity. Now with the system, now that it's been turned into an algorithm, all of the calls are right in front of me right here. It's telling me which one's bullish, which, which one's bearish, which ones I should be looking at, which one's got a trade opportunity, which one doesn't. All right, so keep it very, very simple here. Now let's go ahead and filter out cut downer from this list. ADA USDT right here, let's get into the drop down. All right, now you're seeing the difference in the volatility profiles. So we're seeing a bit of a reset here on Cardano. Now you can see that the 12 hour and the daily time frame have turned blue. That volatility is compressed because of the consolidation that we just saw recently. Now, in my opinion, I think this is a really good picture. For those of you who've been following the Mango um, analysis videos, you guys know that we use the 12 hour time frame as our barometer. Right? And if I hover over that 12 hour trend, which is currently flashing neutral, it tells me that the previous trend was short. So it's telling me that the bears are losing momentum. The bears, they had the momentum not too long ago, six hours ago, but six hours ago they lost. All right, that, that picture is turning, not just that. So we can see that bullish momentum picking up. It's gone from short to neutral, not just that. Check out the volatility. Volatility on the 12 hour time frame and the daily time frame compressed. It's compressed. Now, usually when I see volatility compression, I look for that next expansion move. Right, that next burst in volatility. But question is in what direction? Well, if I'm looking for that direction, I fall back onto the trend. I tell me, okay, what's the trend telling me? Are the bulls in control or are the bears in control? Well, the bulls are in control, right? The bulls are in control. So I'm looking at that next burst in price action to come to me to the upside. But now the main question is that, okay, the bulls are in control. The next burst could be to the upside. Would we buy here at around 62 cents? That's where price is currently hovering at. Um, the four hours telling you that, hey, 
Um, it's long, yeah, the bull's in control, but look at that volatility, it's flashing 81. We could get a minor pullback, all right, on our lower time frames, not the 12 hour, not the daily, but I'll be looking at the four hour time frame to see if there is a potential pullback opportunity. Is there a level on the tw on the four hour time frame that I can gun for that's gonna help me get in a bid that's gonna be super easy for me to manage? There's so much information that you can derive just by looking at the dashboard. All right, so make sure you're using this to your advantage here, um, especially now that markets are trending. This is the time, guys. This is the time, app.mangoresearch.co. And also, guys, yesterday, um, the, under the premium video section, I did post a trade setup on FTM, and we're already up a good 8% on that trade. So go ahead and check it out. I gave you guys the exact bid opportunity, when you're gonna be wrong, as well as targets. Okay, and it's based on a bullish system that's worked like a dream. I'm talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of percents that were that was earned just based on this bullish system. I did a back test for you guys as well. Also, once again, included on the premium video section, go ahead and check it out if you haven't already done so. I believe that trade too is just about beginning. So um, yeah, this is the current picture on Cardano, guys. With this, guys, let's get into the charts. Let's go ahead and see if there is a bid opportunity on our lower time frames. And also, guys, once again, just to show you how well uh, price has worked off of the uh, off of the dynamic on the daily time frame. Check this out, okay? So this was our first bid opportunity, right? We, we said that, hey, if we reclaim the dynamic, that is the bid. The next one, guys, once again, we did return back to the dynamic for the second time. What happened here? A bounce. These are really, really easy to manage bids, guys. You don't understand just how well it works. Very easy to manage bids. Okay, you know that, hey, if prices break the dynamic, you're wrong. It's likely coming down further. Just keep it that simple. That's that's how I'm playing it. Okay, I'm just keeping uh, Cardano that simple. Now, as far as the next bid opportunity for Cardano is concerned, get into the four hour time frame. Okay. Okay, it appears that price is pulling back as we speak. Now, honestly, if I'm being if I'm being really greedy with my bids, I'm honestly just going to try and score 59 cents once again. Could we get down there? Yeah, we could. I mean, we'd technically be retesting the um, the neckline of this uh, this breakout pattern right here, which is an um, an inverted head and shoulders pattern. But if I go ahead and turn on my Ichimoku cloud, you'll also find that we have the Kijun coming in right here. Okay, so we could um, that could also be an easy bid to manage, All right? And it's not too far from our fifty nine cent region. And also, what I like about fifty nine cents is that yeah, it's a critical region of um, well resistance turned into support. We have the Tenkin swinging in right there, as well as it is the um, the top of that of the Ichimoku cloud as well. But what about the four hour dynamic? Do we have the four hour dynamic swinging in there as well? And yeah, it's like sort of curved up right there. But um, yeah, you can see that the four hour dynamic is also swinging in in that zone. So I think it's going to be like a bid zone once again. It's a thick one, but it's there. Okay, the zone, um, the bid zone is going to be a good. It's a zone that's about 1.47%, but this is going to be the, the bid zone for Cardano on this pullback, coming from around 59 cents, going all the way up to 60 cents. What we're looking for is a tap and a bounce. Okay, at which point, guys, next target coming in at 68 cents, and if we start breaking 68 cents, that's when the party begins, because we're going to be looking at a dollar and 16 for a stop, which is going to be a good 71% to the upside, and then right after that, two dollars and 15 cents, which is going to be a good 215% to the upside. And you see how this run right here, this this bear market um, dump right here, was super super unforgiving. I honestly think that the same sort of volatility that we saw to the downside is going to start, uh, we're going to see it to the upside as well, wherein it's not going to give people too much of an opportunity to get in. It's going to be unforgiving to the upside as well. But yeah, this is Cardano for you guys. For those of you who've been asking me, Krisha, where are you trading all of this? Currently, I'm trading on Bingex. I think the liquidity is really, really good on there. And always look for liquidity, guys, on any exchange that you're trading on. First, before you take any trades on there, go ahead and check out the liquidity on the books. Okay, don't just jump willy-nilly into exchanges. You want to make sure that there's enough liquidity for you to get in and get out of your positions safely. All right, so I'm using Bingx currently for most of my altcoin trades, and I'm also using, uh, well, some of the DeFi platforms as well for coins that are not offered on the exchanges. So yeah, that is just a quick um, heads up for you there. As far as the Mango Dynamic Indicator is concerned, if you guys are looking to sign up, you'll find it on themangoway.com slash dynamic. Alrighty, now I hope you guys enjoyed today's analysis on Cardano. If you did, hit the like, hit the subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest updates on here, and I will now see you in the next one. With this, trade safely.